2008 was an amazing year for video games. We saw many amazing classics such as Grand Theft Auto 4, Fallout 3, Dead Space, and many more. What you won't see on that list is one of the worst games in Call of Duty history. Call of Duty World at War. Final Fronts for the PS2. Ha! Get clickbaited. There wasn't a COD game for the PS2 when COD 4 released. Could you imagine all gillied up on a PS2? Well, here we are. Looks promising, huh? I always knew Sarge was empty-headed. At least the Grand won't let me reload till it's empty. And then I drown in two inches of water. Hey Fletch, I think this one's drowning. Grab him! Hey, you. I'm finally awake. You gotta admit, that rain looks better than the GTA remasters. Yeah, that's a natural looking death pose. Alright, this game might be good after all. I gotta say, the flamethrower was entertaining. So, we blow up some flat guns, and I bite off more than I could chew. On the beach, we see the Japanese have been fleeing by boat the entire time. So we blow that shit up. Well, well, well. Look what we've got here. Going ahead, Sarge. I'll catch up. Really? Again? Well, if you insist. Now this game becomes extremely repetitive. Push, clear, push, clear, rinse and repeat. Trench gun blows. Give me some fire shells. We done. I'm sorry, but this doesn't seem like the best tactic, especially when your soldiers are gutless. Bashing this guy's face in results in a seizure. Just run right in front of me while I'm shooting, Sarge. Brilliant idea. You're just as smart as my teammates on Hardcore Shipment. What? The fourth mission attempts to change things up. We're pushing in clearing. At night. All right, that's a bit overkill. Assume the position. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Up to this point, the game had been fairly easy. But holy shit, this section took a turn. I can't even begin to explain how frustrating this part was. 11 minutes of footage was cut of me dying over and over again. He's hit. Get out of there. Wow, amazing fire effects, 10 out of 10. Alright, I take back what I said about the trench gun. It's solid. Nerf it, please. I was a Virginia miner before the war started. You hear that? He was a miner. Let's hope Kevin Spacey doesn't find out. Every single gun in this game is a laser beam. Zero recoil. Too bad there was no multiplayer. Imagine a COD where every weapon was an OP laser. I can hear the tears hitting the floor now. And as always, the MP40 reigns supreme. The clock actually ticks. I'll give points for attention to detail. This dude just sits here kicking this door. For real, how do I get that job? I guess I should help my friends. Shoot a barrel? Receive wine. You all go ahead, I'm getting shit-faced. On your feet, Gibson. We're not done yet. Thanks, Tank Dempsey. I knew I could rely on you. Oh boy, a tank mission! Thankfully, I'm not driving, just shooting. The problem being, I have no idea what I'm shooting at. Are those friendly? Are those enemies? <laughs> I don't know. Either way, they die. Who wants hamburgers? Shooting bodies like a pro. Me mates in me old unit thought I'd gone daft when I volunteered for the six airball. <laughs> I mean, who in their right mind goes jumping out of perfectly good airplanes into the middle of Jerry L territory, eh? I'm sorry, but what? 
Dude's really putting some thought into how gates open. There we go. Great job. He's in LA. Keep an eye out for Jerry. I'll admit by this point I've completely lost interest in whatever is really going on in this game. I'm just going to fail at making jokes for the rest of this video. <laughs> hey look! They're delivering your mom's dildo. Now I'd kill to be this relaxed. All I'm saying is fuck this part. Sorry fam, only one dildo for your mom today. I'm sorry, but what? Looks like we're going right down the damn throat, Marine! Oh my. So, to wrap things up, we storm this castle and slaughter about 50 Japanese soldiers running at us with bayonets. If you really want to know what happens, pick up a damn history book for once. Or, just watch my long play. To be honest, the game wasn't terribly bad. It's just that coming out with a PS2 game to follow after COD 4 made it out like an obvious cash grab. People dunk on World War II's campaign for being generic, they really should play Final Fronts then. It was okay at best, it had a boring story that I lost interest in very quickly, but at least the visual bugs kept me laughing. I give it 2 and a quarter pies out of 5. Special shout out to channel member Anna Root Sniper. Thank you.